Well, I don't know exactly what happened with my camera, but uh, I got that dough. The camera's all messing up, and uh, she almost caught me. And uh, I had to take the shot off camera, which I'm so mad about. And, uh, oh, I'm so mad about that. But, uh, uh, I had to switch the batteries. I think the batteries died on me, but uh, I got the dough. I, I seen her fall not 30 yards from where I shot her from. But at least you seen her come in. I mean, um, that's... Sometimes you just can't plan this stuff. It sucks, but at least I got a dough. First one in over a year. I'm thrilled about that. I finally broke my little bad luck streak, but hopefully we'll we'll get out of here. We'll start tracking. I have no doubts about finding this deer. I've seen it, so all right. So we'll get down. Well, we're back out here in the spot where I hit that dough. Unfortunately, uh, uh, darkness kind of crept up on us. We only had one flashlight, so we couldn't uh, get the camera and me tracking at the same time so we just figured eh, we'll just let her sit and uh, we'll come out in the morning so now it's the next morning after and still have no doubts finding this deer so let's just go over here real quick see if we can't find the arrow get on this blood trail we'll find this doe let's go ahead and go well here's the arrow All the way through, it's always nice. A lot of white hair, bright blood. So my guessing is it's a possible heart shot uh, since all the white hair is usually on the bottom. So, and like I said, I didn't see it go very far after I shot it. So hopefully, all right, we're still getting some pretty good blood up here. Right here she is, right up here in front of us here. where this deer went. Look at the rub on these trees. You can tell that these bucks are coming up and down this path quite a bit. But, like I expected, just by looking at the top of the deer already, this is a little button buck. First year deer, but uh, it was worth uh, waiting to come in the morning to come get this deer. Uh, due to the fact with the camera light and everything. I wanted to make it as good as possible. So, uh, I'm excited. This is the first year in over a year for me. I struck out all last year. So this is a good first start. So, what we'll do now is uh, we'll clean it up and tag it in. But before, you, before we shut this camera off, why don't you come here and look at the exit hole on this animal. This will show you the cutting power of the Grim Reaper Broadway. I mean, this is a huge, huge exit hole. I mean, there is there, there was no chance for this deer to even survive this. I, I mean, it was good a shot placement on my part, but the Grim Reaper definitely did its job on this. So from here, we'll clean her up, go tag her in, and uh, we'll be back out here again and hopefully get me another deer. 